So let's head on over to Enterprise Applications. And we're going to create a new application. We'll go to the top, hit New Application, and we're going to search for Meraki. And up it comes. So we can give this uh, a nice name, such as Acme um, LTD SM. And we'll click Create. Now that we have the application created, we're going to go to Single Sign-On. We will click on SAML. And we're going to scroll down to Certificates here. The thing that we need is our fingerprint or Microsoft's thumbprint. So we're just going to copy that and I'm just going to paste it to a text document. Now, the thing that you need to be aware of is that when we put this into the Meraki dashboard, every two characters need to be separated by a colon, which we'll see shortly. We also need to copy the login URL and the logout URL as well. So now we're going to head on over to our Meraki dashboard. And I've created a network that has just wireless and systems manager in. So I'm going to go to systems manager and general. We're going to scroll down and you'll see our enrollment settings and end user authentication settings here. So from authentication settings, I'm going to select SAML. I'm going to copy in the thumbprint from earlier. I'm going to copy the login URL from earlier as well. And lastly, the logout URL. And lastly, we're going to put in groups in here. And we'll click Save. So whilst we're waiting for the URL, we need to do some other things as well. We're going to scroll down and we're going to enable the self-service portal for the users. For new user access, we're going to default grant and we're going to make a copy of the URL here. If you wanted to do some branding, you can do this as well. On the trusted access, I'm going to do a default grant for new users and I'm going to allow them to enroll two devices. Once I've done this, I can click save. Now, as you can see, our enrollment consumer URL has appeared. But again, we'll come back to this shortly. Let's head on over now to wireless and go to SSIDs. And as you can see, I've got one already created. Let's go and edit this. I'm going to change this to enterprise. And you can see now that we have both Sentry and Trusted Access. Let's go and add a configuration for Trusted Access. I'm going to call this Acme default because this will be the default trusted access policy for users. You can have different policies for different groups of users if you wish. Let's now select a network. I'm going to select my Acme network from earlier. And I'm going to say that people can have a 90 day certificate for their, for their devices. I'm going to say for all devices, and I'm going to click Add. Once we've done that, ensure that you press Save. Now what we've done here, really simply, is to create an SSID. We have said that this SSID is going to be uh, 1x enabled, and we've added a trusted access configuration and pointed that to the Systems Manager network, which is here on the left-hand side. And that's all of our trusted access configuration done in just those few seconds. So now that we've done that, we can head on back over to Systems Manager and General. We'll scroll down and you'll see now that we actually have two URLs in here. One of them for enrolling devices, one of them for trusted access devices. So let's grab both of these and I'm just going to pop them into my text editor because we'll need them for Azure. Now, let's head on over back to Azure. 
So we have just a few more steps in Azure. We're going to go up to our basic SAML configuration and we're going to click Edit. And the first thing that we're going to do is add a couple of new identifiers. The first one is going to be HTTPS portal.meraki.com. Now, this is for trusted access and is needed. If you also wanted to allow users to enroll devices, we're going to pop that in as well, although for the trusted access, it's not actually needed. We can now scroll down and under reply URL, we need to grab the URLs that we grabbed earlier from Systems Manager. I'm going to add the first one in there, which is going to be, if we have a look at the start, portal.meraki.com. Again, if you wanted users to be able to enroll, we'll pop that in there as well, although it's not needed for trusted access. Let's click Save. Now that we've done that, we need to also edit our attributes and claims. So let's just click the Edit button here. We need to ensure that we have dashboard.meraki.com forward slash SAML forward slash attributes forward slash username and also forward slash role and those are assigned to both user principal name and assigned roles. So we are all good there. But we also need to add our groups as well. So we're going to click add new group claim. I'm going to say all groups and I'm going to click save. And you'll see now that we have identity forward slash claims forward slash groups. And this points to user dot groups all. And we're all good in here as well. So let's click the X button. So the very last piece of configuration that we need to do for our application in Azure is to actually assign some users and groups. Now, because this is an evaluation version of Azure, I don't have the ability to add any groups. But what I can do is add a user. So I'm just going to add myself. There we go. Let's add me. Select Assign. And this is now going to allow me to log in. So for the final steps, we're going to head over to the self-service portal. If you can't remember where this is, Go to Systems Manager, General, Self-Surface Portal, and you'll see it highlighted just here. So let's log in with my Azure credentials. These might be cached, which is why this looks a little slicker than normal. You can see that I've got um, a Mac already enrolled. So let's add a new device. We'll click Join Wi-Fi. We'll say Mac. We'll give it a name. And as you can see from the drop down list, we support iPhone, iPad, Android, Windows, which is currently in beta, and Android Passpoint, which is in beta as well. We will click Add Device. And now we can download the profile. There it goes. And we can install this with system settings and be connected securely to our Meraki Wi Fi. Thank you.